In this Space Engine video, we're going to be exploring the universe. We're going to start in our own solar system and then we can just kind of fly around and pick wherever we want to go and we can just explore. And so we're going to see what kind of crazy planets we can find. All right, so here's Earth. We're going to start here because, you know, we live here. It looks almost real, which is crazy to me. So like we can see all the stars and everything in the background. So here's like the Milky Way. There's the sun, that big bright thing. And the moon um, should be around here somewhere. And just take a look at that. And if we turn it on the realistic lighting, it it looks like a picture like you could take a picture of that and it would look real so let's go and land in one of these craters on the moon and we should be able to just go all the way down into it and it'll even load the detail as far as the ground like the dust on the ground there's the earth so if we zoom in on it you can see it has like its own faces just like the moon does and what is that right there um we maybe can even zoom in on it enough from here that's venus Venus. So from the surface of the moon right here, we could zoom in. If we had like a really powerful telescope, zoom in enough to see that that is Venus right there. So because we're in Space Engine, let's fly over there. So all we got to do is scroll up and actually fly over here. All right. So here's Venus now. Um, turn it back on realistic lighting. I wonder if we could turn off atmosphere. Yes. Yeah, so if we turn off clouds and atmosphere, you can see the surface of Venus now. I want to go and land on this now and see what it is going to look like. Well, it almost looks like sand dunes. Um, so now if we're on the surface and we turn back on clouds and atmosphere, this is what the atmosphere would look like. This looks kind of like Earth. But yeah, you would burn to death. It is just from the greenhouse effect. There's an extra 560 uh, degrees Celsius. So yeah, you would most definitely die on a Venus. Um, but now let's look around and see what there is. You can actually see the constellation Orion right here. You can see these three stars are Orion's belt. And if you look right down here, you can see there's a nebula. This is the Orion Nebula. Um, so let's go there. So here we are at the Orion Nebula. I wonder what it would look like to live inside of it. So let's pick one of these stars. These ones look good. And then we can click on the solar system browser and see what planets are there. Whoa, this planet looks cool. Let's go here. So here's a procedurally generated planet um, in the Orion Nebula. You can see there's an eclipse going on here. That looks way cool. Um, and it looks like it has a couple moons. So if we go and land on one of these moons, that's so cool. Land on it now and then look at the gas giant from the surface. So if you were actually on here and you looked up, you could see, first of all, this is um, another star in the thing. You look up and you see that. That is crazy. That's one of the most colorful gas giants I've ever seen on Space Engine. Um, let's see what other planets are in its little system. We got a frigid arid aquaria. So let's go to this one. This one looks rocky. That's cool. It's a rocky planet with rings on it. Let's check out the surface here. So if we were to be able to be on this planet and like look up into the sky and see the rings. All right, so it looks like it has a very rocky surface and you look up and you see those rings. That's so cool. And it looks like it does have a couple clouds. Um, let's actually go in the rings and see the ring particles. Yeah, there we go. See, you can see um, all of these little dots are ring particles. So you can actually fly through the rings and this is what it would look like. That's way cool. So now I want to know what the night would look like in the Orion Nebula. So if you were to be on this planet at night in a realistic lighting, see those rings and you can also see that the sky is like purple because the nebula is so purple. And that looks like a, a moon, one of its moons. So the constellations and everything would be completely different here. So that's the Orion Nebula. Now I want to go ahead and look at Jupiter, I think. Okay, so here's Jupiter in our solar system. Um, you can just see the detail that they've added into the game, like all of the blue storms and everything down here. They look amazing. And there's its great big red spot. And here's an eclipse happening. Um, well, here's Io, uh, one of Jupiter's moons, um, which looks really, really cool. Let's go and land on Io. Looks like it has some rocks too. See, it generates a landscape, which is pretty cool. So if we actually, we can go in here and look at Jupiter's moons. So here's Ganymede, another one of Jupiter's moons. And we got Callisto, Callisto right here. And by the way, I terraformed all of these moons in Universe Sandbox already. So you should check that video out. Europa, Europa has very cool surface patterns. I wonder if you could go and actually like, actually like see the depth on these. Oh yeah, look, so here's like those scratches that you see on the surface. If you get up close, you can see they're actually like mini valleys. That's super cool. Um, now I want to try to find a planet that's not in our solar system that has water on it. So let's look around. Um, 
Here's towards the Milky Way. You can even zoom in on some of these, on these spots. You can see there's some nebulas. Uh, so we could go to one of those nebulas. Or here's even the Andromeda Galaxy. You can see that from um, the Milky Way also. Let's just pick a star. Um, how about this star right here? It looks like it's binary star system. So here's its two stars. And if we check out it, so it looks like neither of these have any planets on them. So let's find another one. Let's just start flying. So we're going about a thousand light years per second. Here's a nebula. Okay, let's pick you, you're a star. Oh my goodness, green means it has life. So this system has life in it. Okay, so this planet here has life on it. Number A3. Ooh, it has water on it too. Okay, realistic lighting time. This planet's super cool. I want to go and see these um, giant lakes it has. They kind of look like the Great Lakes, but I guess most of it would be like a desert. So I would say most of the life is probably concentrated around these areas. But like, just looking, this is so cool. So yeah, it looks like almost desert-like, um, a lot of rockiness. And you can see there's the water and there are some clouds. So, oh, and it looks like there's a giant mountain here. Volcano even, maybe an ancient volcano here. If you were standing on the volcano and looked out, this is what you might see. Oh, it even has like grass on it. I wonder what the night sky would look like from a planet like this. Like, look at this shot. So let's get down here and take a shot. We got mountain ranges aplenty up back here. Get on a realistic lighting. So it looks like we're only being illuminated by this other star. That looks like the main source of light. But just look at this, like the night sky from over here is crazy. The Milky Way just spans across the entire night sky like that. All right, let's go find another system. This star right here. Yellow, it's a binary yellow dwarf system. So you can see the binary stars here orbiting each other. And then it looks like, well, let's check out this cold arid aquaria. So it looks like it's gonna have a lot of ice on it. But that's all ice. And this one has rings too, which is cool. It kind of reminds me of Hoth. So this one you would not be able to live on. It's it's pretty cold, negative 120 Celsius. If we go down on the surface here, um, oh, those are clouds. They're not ice. It has a super thick layer of clouds. And then this underneath is actually really cool. Let it all load in. These mountains are like purple in color. This could be like a national park. Whoa, the different layers in the mountains that show up. That is really cool. And you can see the clouds start to load in. They're very thick. Um, it's like a layer of clouds. But the mountain ranges on here are insane. So there's our cold arid aquaria. And this moon looks cool. We're now in a crater. In a crater. In a crater. In a crater. <laughs> on this moon of our ice planet there. Okay, now I want to try to find another system with life without any help. Um, so let's zoom through the Milky Way. So all this stuff's going to be randomly generated at this point. But let's just start clicking on stars and checking. Okay, whoa, this one has two planets with life. So this gas giant has a moon um, with subglacial life also, which is kind of boring. But we're going to look at it anyway. So this moon supposedly has some, whoa, the texture on this. I have never seen anything like that. It's like the glacier texture or something. That is so cool. Okay, um, so yeah, this one has life apparently, but so does another one in the system. This moon also has subglacial life. That is also boring. But that last uh, moon was very cool. This kind of looks like Io. Um, I'm still not done searching for life until we get one that is not subglacial. Aerial, organic multicellular. This gas giant has life. Not even its moon, the actual gas giant has aerial life apparently. Organic multicellular. That's crazy. So it like lives on the gas giant in the air. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this. Um, if you want to see more Space Engine, get this video to 600 likes and we will continue the search for life and cool planets. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 6,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time.